Hello, my name is Jessie and I work for NHV Helicopters. Today I'm going to give you a little more insight into NHV's role within the renewable sector and some more information about working for a helicopter operator. So who is NHV? NHV Group are an international helicopter service provider. We supply helicopters for a variety of services and a variety of sectors. Our headquarters are in Belgium and we have an international presence, but one of our largest and busiest bases of operation is right here in Aberdeen. One of our main focus areas at NHV Group is the work that we do for the offshore industry. And being in the Northeast, I'm sure many of you will know at least one person that works offshore or has spent time working offshore. On a daily basis, NHV transfer crew from Aberdeen and other destinations in the UK to various oil and gas platforms in the North Sea. At NHV, we have over 60 helicopters in our fleet at the moment, all of different types and varying in their purposes. It's very exciting, I'll tell you about it in another slide. We have a worldwide presence, including the Netherlands, France, Norway. We also work in Africa, as well as the North Sea, which is NHV Group's current operational focus. So what do we do? We work across industries, including the renewables and offshore wind industry, oil and gas, onshore aerial work, search and rescue, helicopter emergency medical services, and NHV also has a technical and training service. You may start noticing NHV helicopters in the sky following from this presentation because ours are a very distinct colour. And as you can see from the slide, we operate a variety in our fleet. NHV are pretty new into the market in the UK and as a result, we operate with a very efficient and state-of-the-art modern fleet. The average age of our fleet offshore is only nine years old, which is very young compared to our competitors. The total value of our helicopters is around 350 million euros. You can see from the slide that each helicopter holds a certain number of passengers, different cruise speeds and ranges. Therefore, we use different aircraft types to complete different types of missions using helicopters that are best suited for the work. With the renewables industry in mind specifically, I will tell you a little bit more about how a helicopter operator, such as NHV, helps offshore wind farm activities. The video shows a bit of the journey of the helicopter in the offshore wind industry from transporting crews and equipment to and from the offshore wind turbines. The role of a helicopter operator is to keep the offshore wind farm accessible and in perfect working condition. Depending on the status of the offshore wind turbine, NHV can either land on a heli deck, such as on a vessel or a platform, or they can use a winch and winch down crew and supplies to the wind turbine. The benefits of completing the journey to the offshore wind farm using a helicopter is that it is the fastest method possible to get essential workers, including offshore wind engineers and technicians, or essential spare parts and supplies offshore. NHV used the H145 state-of-the-art helicopter from Airbus with enhanced safety features to complete the majority of the offshore wind turbine work. The helicopter has been designed and adapted to work very well for hoisting offshore. Plus, the H145 is small enough and efficient enough to nip through wind turbines, which can often be a tight squeeze. Another reason we use the H145 is the enhanced safety features. You may have noticed on the fleet side that the H145 can hold up to seven passengers. However, this adapted aircraft can only hold up to four passengers. This is due to payloads, payload restrictions, which is how much weight the aircraft can carry. Aircrafts are also designed not to have accidents, but like all machines, they are never 100% reliable. That's why there are checks in place and emergency protocols in place to ensure safety. As a helicopter engineer, your role will be intrinsic to the safety of the helicopter, 
through progressive maintenance, either through line maintenance, which is daily checks and maintenance, or base maintenance, which is long-term maintenance that is required at regular intervals, kind of like a car's service at the garage. Why helicopters? As I mentioned, with the offshore wind farms evolving, many are increasing in size and also increasing in the distance from the shore. So the most efficient way of traveling is using a helicopter, which can significantly reduce travel time. It's also better for passengers that have to endure that commute and it's better for the environment. An alternative method of transport is to use boats, which can take a lot more time and are very rocky, especially in the North Sea, which is notoriously bad weather and significant wave heights. Helicopters get involved at various stages of the turbine cycle. They are used when turbines are being built, during the construction phase, they can be used during the operating and maintenance of the turbines, including inspections and also using drones from the aircraft for inspections. And then also for the dismantling of turbines. So what can you expect working in a company like NHV? You can work at NHV as a pilot. And although there are various ways of becoming a pilot, it seems that the usual route to take is that they start out at university and then decide that they want to be a pilot. So then they will have to undertake flight training school and also gain a minimum number of flying hours, almost like work experience. But it's also very difficult and expensive to fund yourself to become a pilot. And one of our NHV pilots quote that you also need a whole lot of determination in this business. She probably refers to the fact that even as a pilot, having undergone through all of this initial training, you also have to do regular training on your aircraft type and safety training. And if you want to work for another, with another aircraft type, then you have to do the training all over again. The good news is that the starting salary for a co-pilot is over 48,000 pounds and a pilot is 84,000 pounds a year. To become a specific helicopter hoist operator pilot is the same route as a pilot with some additional helicopter hoist training which is ongoing. Our heli hoist operators have additional duties, including giving instructions to pilots, guidance for rescue divers or medics. They safely winch the rescue divers or medics to the rescue destination, and they also rescue people from the sea or platforms. This is the kind of role where no two days are the same, a great way of having a completely diverse working day definitely not stuck behind a desk. The salary for a heli hoist co-pilot is between 55 and 77,000 euros per year. And the captain's salary can vary between 98 and 118,000 euros per year. This is an estimate based on our crew salary in the Netherlands. Being an engineer is again, another great option within NHV and the renewables industry. The starting salary is good and it is a really interesting work with great routes for progression. Engineers can start out in this industry through a trainee or apprenticeship program in order to work their way up to mechanic status. Progressing to a licensed engineer then requires some qualifications, which can be taken through a college or a course such as mechanical engineering. We also often take ex-force mechanics who have gained qualifications and experience through their time in the forces. The starting salary for an engineer is over 28,000 pounds and any licenses and award are awarded on top of the starting salary as follows. You can earn over 13,000 pounds on top of your salary being a B1 and B2 licensed engineer. And each year of experience is awarded with an additional bonus of close to six, 600 pounds for up to 16 years, with senior engineers being even higher. Thank you very much. I hope that this presentation has helped some of you to understand the role that helicopters play within the renewables industry and some of the career options that are available to you. Let me know if you have any questions. We often invite schools and colleges to check out the base in Aberdeen and to see the helicopters being worked on and give you a chance to speak to engineers and pilots as well. Also the other staff that keep the business alive. 
Take a note of my contact details if you want to arrange something once lockdown is over. Thank you.